الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith of Jibreel عليه الصلاة والسلام when he was asked about Iman the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم responded by saying إن تؤمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله واليوم الآخر وتؤمن بقدر خيره وشره the Prophet ﷺ said that Iman or faith, it is to believe in Allah and in Tukmina Billahi wa Malaika and the angels wa Kutubihi and the books wa Rasulihi and the messengers alayhim afdal salatu wa salam wa Rasulihi wa Yawm al Akhir and the day of judgment, the divine day of judgment or the day of judgment, the day of reckoning when we'll all be called to account for our deeds. And divine destiny, the destiny that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed with his knowledge, his infinite knowledge, and his that he is the creator of the heavens and earth over all things, and all things will return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all the other various maratim al qadr. And from this hadith is immense, immense benefit. We learn first and foremost about Tawheed Allah. Because the Prophet Sallallahu began by saying that Iman, and this forms the Aqeedah of Ahl Sunnah, the creed of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, is that we begin with Tawheed. As the Prophet Sallallahu began his call with Tawheed. And the Hadith of Jibreel begins with the, 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 the call to Tawheed. Because when he mentioned Iman, he said, Ya Muhammad, akhbirani in Islam. So in the beginning he asked about Islam. And of course, the first pillar of Islam is what? Shahada in la ilaha illallah wa ashadu in the Muhammad Rasulullah. So the first pillar of Islam exhibits Tawheed. That there is no God worthy of worship. And that Muhammad is, is there's no God worthy of worship except the law. And that Muhammad وسلم, was the last prophet. والسلام, so that's how the, the pillars of uh, the Arkanas, Arkanal Islam began. So what about the Arkanal Iman as we were mentioning? This shows us the call of Tawheed. That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked by Jibreel and Salatu Salam, and then he said it to Billahi. So what is believing in Allah? What does that mean? Is that just believing that there's one God in his Rububiya? La. Of course that comprises part of it. But it's much more encompassing than that. Meaning that there are categories of Tawheed. That that entails the three categories of Tawheed, meaning that the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah is the Rabbil Alameen, He's the creator of the heavens and earth, He's the planner, He's the sustainer, He's our Razak, He provides for us. And He is ala kulli shayin qadir, He's over all things omnipotent. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and earth. That's a part of Tawheed. The second part of Tawheed is that we direct all of our worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is the creator of the heavens and earth, and who is the provider and sustainer. And that's where some of the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went astray. Because they began to divert their worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When it all goes to Allah. When we pray, we pray to Allah. When we supplicate, supplicate to Allah. When we fast, we fast for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah has commanded us in the Qur'an. Kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba ladina min qablakum la'alakum tatakum. Fasting is prescribed for you. Similar to the way it was fasted uh, that those before you fasted in order that you will receive taqwa. And taqwa is what? It's fearing the punishment of Allah and doing the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all of that comes back to tawheed, tawheed Allah, the worship of Allah alone. And the third category of tawheed, which is also included in that hadith in the, uh, of Jibreel, is that where uh, is, is the category, it is al-asma'i wa sifat is divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses divine names. He's al-Rahman, al-Rahim, uh, he is al-Khalik, al-Musawwar, al-Mudabbir, al-Musawwar, lahu asma al-Husna, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes that he should be worshipped by. Meaning we supplicate to Allah, and, we, and those names and attributes are the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is what we're called to. That is Tawheed Allah. That is... Uh, what we find in the hadith of Jibreel, alayhi salatu wasalam, in many ahadith and in all throughout the Qur'an, kullu allahu ahad, allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad, wa lam yakullahu kufu anahad. There is nothing uh, worthy.
there's nothing like unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is imperative for the believer to begin with Tawheed. Begin in your call to the Tawheed of, tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.